He's not even fighting other people. He's just trying to drink at this point. Okay, that was a little overkill, honestly. Concussion. Yo, what's up, guys? Prince Charming. We are checking out Pi Mations Meet the Amazing Deno Man today. No idea at all what this video is about or really who this character is from. I'm guessing this is a dude from Team Fortress, a video game I don't play. I don't know if that's the name of the game. I'm sorry, so please don't roast me in the comments. But it's a pretty popular video. It's Pymations. Those will be the always do well. And y'all do enjoy Pymations, so I just thought I'll check it out. I'll give it a watch. You know, see what it's about because I did like the Meet the Bomber or something like that, where it was Pyro. Meet the Pyro. Of course, it's Pyro. It's Meet the Amazing Pyro. I did like that video. That was very enjoyable. So I thought I'll check it out since it's a similar style to that. Don't forget to hit me to like, subscribe, go ahead and comment the last amazing thing that you've done the last amazing thing that i've done honestly and i do think this is amazing but i do this on the regular so i don't really know if i can call it amazing since i regularly do it so anyways i usually never study for tests like i will cram 20 30 minutes and just get by on my natural knowledge and i always do well on tests versus other classmates who study the day before two days before they get a lower grade than me and then they hate me so much because i'm just like yeah i just went to the library for about 20 minutes and that's it. <laughs> but after me talking, let's go and check out Pymation's The Amazing Deno Man today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Who's this guy? Ugh. Let's go, maggot. That Can you even order. see? The help is covering your eyes. The Amazing Deno Man. Demo Man. I get it. Demolition. I get it now. I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. You probably shouldn't drink on the job if your job is to handle explosives. That's just my opinion. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Bloody hell! Those he Russian? ones were my favorites! No, that's Irish. Favorites! I'll stick that wrench right up your arse! That's Irish, definitely. Bro, how much do you drink in a day? I, that'll do. I don't understand alcohol. Drunk on the battlefield ain't no way to be. I sweet. can never, I can never become one. Two, one, get to the right. control point. Let's blow some stuff it's up. It's on! It's on! Oh, he fell asleep. <laughs> Wait, what did he do? I. Oh! Ah! What did I miss? Well. After you drank that beer you found next to the fridge, you found a sword and started decapitating the entire red team. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Frankly, that was pretty traumatizing to watch. I may never sleep again. Hmm. You may have an alcohol problem. Uh, the medic might be right there. You didn't need a doctor hey, to I'll tell you that. Beer off your hands. <laughs> All right, guys, on a serious note, I'm sure a lot of y'all dealt with alcoholism. You know, your parents may drink too much. Your friend may drink too much. Let me just tell y'all, it doesn't matter what age you are, because I do know a lot of people in college who cannot go a day without drinking. That is alcoholism. Alcoholism is literally when you can't go a day without drinking, when all you can think about is drinking, when you feel bad when you don't drink. They don't really understand that they're already being addicted. They think it's okay just because they're at a young age. No, you shouldn't be 22 going every day drinking. That's not normal to me. But maybe I'm just boring at parties. Maybe I'm just that guy who would rather just, you know, chill at home and work on my business other than going out and drinking and partying, you know, not committing the seven deadly sins. I don't know what you were taught in training, but I learned of honor and haircuts. Your style of fighting is neither of those. Why do you keep Until punching him, bro? If this was me, I would have been boxed this week. <laughs> Can't even see his what eyes. What that soldier training did ya? You might like this. What do you think, eh? You can have this when you pry it from my cold dead hands. And even then, good luck, because I He's will have loaded to my cold dead hands. <laughs> He's finna get knocked out. Rock, paper, scissors! That is a pile of nonsense. Come on, then. Oh. Rock? You always rock, chew paper, rock. It scissors. always wins. Ha! What I tell you, Rock always Rock wins. wins. Oh, that's nice. Well, back to the front. <laughs> <sighs> You're supposed Put to do your best belly. two out of three. No. Don't take a sip. Go to an AA meeting, bro. Come on. There Did you go. I stutter? 
That's motivation to stop drinking. <laughs> now you have somebody that looks just like you. <laughs> You low down scoundrel. <laughs> what is going on? He's not even fighting other people, he's just trying to drink at this point. Okay, that was a little overkill, honestly. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This dude can't go a day, even an hour, probably even 30 minutes without a drink. That is not okay. Don't get me wrong, there's some people who can go daily drinking who don't need to drink but i find that very rare it's most of the times because they feel the need they just miss out on it they miss out on that dopamine rush it's a whole ted talk about it i i've been watching a lot of ted talks recently i'm getting a little bit more educated even though you know i don't really pay attention in school i do pay attention to things that i'm interested in just don't get addicted to anything when you go to college bro there's gonna be so many things you can become addicted to because such easily to be accessed. I said that completely wrong. I'm not an English major, so I don't care. But yeah, don't get addicted to anything in college. Just do you, bro. Focus on your studies. Make money. Have fun. But not too much fun. Oh, is this your plug? Is this your plug? <laughs> he give you the good good? Is that that gas? Go ahead and swig it. Ugh, that's probably moonshine. <laughs> oh, it's gasoline? Are you kidding me? Well, it's alcohol. Gasoline is technically ethanol. You can get drunk off of it. Look it up. Stand on the point, numbnuts! Bro, how do you shoot me in an RPG when you can't see? I don't God trust you with that. Help me cap this point! <laughs> okay. Okay, I think he he drank the gasoline. I think he really did. Denied. <laughs> yep. Say goodbye. <laughs> he really drank that gasoline, honestly. Stay frosty. Hey. Say goodbye. Oh, put it down. This will be the ultimate test of strength, if he can put it down. Oh, no, he's hiding it, you see? He's finna go back home and take shots, 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 shots. Yep. <laughs> if he throws it, he's powerful, and it has no control over him. Nah, uh, you see, he can't do it. He can't do it, he loves it too much. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of how black people act over Hennessy, even though I'm sure we can all agree that that's the most disgusting drink on earth. You always hear in rap bars, you know, sipping on Hennessy, you know, took a shot of Hennessy, Hennessy, Hennessy. Hennessy is nasty. It's not anything is lit. It's anything is shit. <laughs> all right, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to get sued again because I already talked mess about Papa John's. But Hennessy, or should I say Cognac, or what is whiskey, or is it? What is Hennessy? It's not. Is it whiskey? Anyways, dark liquor. Period. But especially Hennessy is nasty. People like to boost it. Act like they like drinking it. You know, taking uh, pulls from it, bro. It's so gross. I remember one of my friends trying to make Hennessy eggs. Yes, that clout just took to a different level. He thought it'd be a good idea to scramble his eggs with Hennessy in it. I don't know why people even are born to. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's Hennessy, that's why he likes it so much. Yep. <laughs> yep, he's getting lit, bro. And then you fall asleep. That's what alcohol do to you, make you lazy. Crampe. Bomb! <laughs> this guy! You launched the rocket! Oh, he launched the rocket. Oh, this is what you do when you drink. That's probably why you should put down the bottle. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That thing's gonna take out both our bases. I will not tolerate failure on my team. Go. What is the doctor doing? What? This is not your area no. expertise. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? I'm too handsome to die. Oh my gosh. Forward. Oh, now you want to give it to him as motivation. Bloody hell.
Okay, this is kind of dope, but who is he, Superman? <laughs> oh, Blue. And he's knocked out. He's knocked out. <laughs> Last time I'm going to pause, but I, wanna, I just want to tell y'all a quick story of my first hangover. My very first hangover. I'm going to make it quick because I do want to do like a full video on this. Long story short, I came down to Texas State, the current college where I'm at right now. And I drank too much, too quick, didn't really know the effects of alcohol, didn't know it creeps up on you. It's a building effect. So, you know, you're taking shot, 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 shot. You don't feel it that second. You give yourself 5 to 10, 15 minutes, oh, trust me, you will feel it. So, yeah, I uh, took too much drinks, knocked out, and I literally woke up the next morning in my underwear in some random person's uh, dorm room. Trust me, though, it was, this is one of my friend's friends. So they basically told me that I threw up all over the couch. They had to carry me out. I deadweighted them and a whole bunch of other things. And the entire time, I was blacked out. And I remember a single minute from that night. So it was just very, you know, it's crazy to think what I could have been doing while I was blacked out. Like, imagine if I grabbed my keys and went out for a drive. I wouldn't have known what I was doing. I don't remember nothing. Manco. I mean, he actually disabled the missile, so... I guess you could say alcohol was good in this way. Oh, you're so lucky it didn't fall on you. God's looking out for you. How <laughs> that was close! Good job, bro. I Take a shot of that Hennessy. Go ahead and take a shot for the boys. Was that Soul Calibur in there? It is. Stop! Shoot that bomb! Ah! <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! They could have blown themselves up. Oh god! <laughs> oh wow! So at the end of the day, nothing changed. <laughs> And that's what you get for touching that! Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this is all your fault! You are all dishonorably discharged. Oh, I need a drink. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Family Matters? Is that a laugh track at it? Okay, I'll clap with them. <laughs> But that's it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So that was the amazing Demo Man. I said Demo Man for the longest. I'm so sorry for that error. The amazing Demo Man. And those are people who essentially blow up things. That's his job. So that was a very good video from Pymations. The man just liked his liquor, you know, a little bit too much. But he got he got shit done with it. You know, he was handling his business. At the end of the day, you know, he didn't really blow up his own base. Those were the errors of his friends that weren't drinking. So I guess you could say alcohol was a positive factor in this video. I'm not telling you ought to go you know take a shot you know i'm not gonna promote that in any way shape or form i'm just saying bro sometimes that liquid courage do be helping you out for the night i'm not gonna lie it makes you a little bit more well it makes you think you're more smooth but i'm sure to sober people you look like an idiot <laughs> but don't forget to hit me to like subscribe and comment on this video if you want to apply from yours truly prince charming my name is prince of hawk i'm stay charm my friends